Hi friends, today we're gonna to be reading a book called The Very, Very, Very Long Dog, written by Julia Patton. This book today is about a dog and his name is Bartleby. He is a very long and lovable sausage dog who lives in a bookstore. Every day, his wonderful friends accompany him for a walk around town. Bartleby loves his walks, but as you're going to see, Bartleby has a problem in this story today. And I want you to see if you can figure out what Bartleby's problem is and how does he solve it. So again, this book is called The Very, Very, Very Long Dog, written by Julia Patton. This book was written and illustrated by Julia Patton. So that means that not only did Julia Patton write the words, but Julia Patton also created the illustrations or the pictures that you're going to see in the story today. Here we go. This is Bartleby. Well, this is his bottom anyway. Bartleby is a very, very, very long sausage dog who's lucky enough to live in this beautiful old bookstore. Every day, Bartleby eats breakfast whilst reading his favorite books. Then his special friends take him for his morning walk around town. Bartleby loves his home, his walks, and his friends. Life couldn't be any better. Except, Bartleby is so long, he's not always quite sure where his bottom is. His walks started out great. But unfortunately, didn't always end so well. His friends tried their very best to help clean up the mess. Bartleby had no idea. Look at that mess he has made. So here's Bartleby's bottom. Day after day, they carefully trotted across Main Street. His blundering backside caused a calamity. Oh, Bartleby. They cautiously took a diversion around the construction site. But his bungling behind created even more chaos. Oh, Bartleby. One day, Bartleby's reckless rear made so much mayhem that not even his friends could fix it this time. Oh, Bartleby. Bartleby heard yelling and shouting and turned back to investigate. He would get to the bottom of this and find the culprit. Poor Bartleby realized that it was his very own bottom that he that had caused all the crashing and bashing, making everyone unhappy. Bite! He bit his own bottom. He ran all the way home and was so sad he didn't even read his favorite bedtime story. He still ate his dinner. He vowed never to leave the bookstore again. Bartleby's friends were heartbroken to see him so sad. They loved him just the way he was. They rummaged through all of the bookshelves searching for answers. They concocted a most marvelous plan that just might make Bartleby feel better. They created a very special gift, a gift for Bartleby to help himself.
every day. Bartleby still eats breakfast whilst reading his favorite books. His special friends still take him for his morning walk around town. But now Bartleby is absolutely sure where his bottom is. I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what they made him. They put it on his bottom. And this looks like some kind of noise maker right there. So now he knows where his bottom is. Oh, Bartleby. And that concludes the story of the very, very, very long dog. I hope you guys enjoyed this story today. Um, this read aloud is really great for students in kindergarten and first grade. Um, and even some second graders can also enjoy this story. So I have a couple of comprehension questions for you. I will also type them up in the post so you have them as well. I want to know, can you tell me what happened at the beginning of the story, in the middle of the story, and finally what happened at the end of the story? That's one question. And before we read the book, I said, let's try to focus on what Barobi's problem is. So I want to know, what was his problem in the story? And did he solve his problem? If he solved it, how did he solve it? Who helped him solve it? And what did they do? And um, a couple of other things I thought during this story, this book has a lot of really great vocabulary. So if you're a second grader or a third grader, I'm gonna list some words that you could look up and I want you to try to define them, figure out what they mean, and then can you come up with a sentence using that word on your own? Some of those words include the words blundering, calamity, diversion, bungling, mayhem, and culprit. So if you are a second grader or a third grader, you can try to look up those vocabulary words. Again, I hope you guys really enjoyed this story. I love dogs, so as soon as I saw this book, I just had to get it. And I will see you very soon. Bye.